I think we can all agree that this video is a long time coming. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Annie, and today I'm going to be showing you my fingerboard collection. So just to let you guys know how I'm going to be organizing this, for this video I'm going to be doing yellow wood, Berlin wood, and unique decks. And then I'm going to do a shorter video called doubles and triples. This is so confusing that I needed to write this all down in my notebook. Doubles and triples is going to be the boards or companies that I have two or three boards of. And then the last video is going to be rare boards and one-off boards. So companies where I only have one of their boards and also obviously like the rare boards like whoop. Some of the categories overlap, so don't come at me when you're like, wait, she has two whoops, but why is this in the rare video? Well, it's because it's still a rare board, so I, it just depends on where each board really properly fits in. So the first category is Berlin Woods and one flat face deck. The first Berlin wood I'm going to show you guys is, this was my first ever proper fingerboard. I don't even remember what graphic this is called, but it's a 29mm board. I used it for I think maybe a year, and then I bought the flat piece deck that I will show you. And actually I remember my first ever setup was the rip tape that it came with. I got Bali trucks and Winkler wheels. But for the next board, I'm just gonna do the flat face board. And the reason why I put this board into this category is also just because this is my second board ever. It's a flat face G12. When I was sorting through my boards, I just realized I only have two flat face boards and it's because I sold or traded all my other ones, but I don't have any other flat face boards. And that's just because I don't really ride flat face. Nothing wrong with flat face boards, I really liked them for a while. But yeah, this is my second ever deck. And this is a 30 millimeter board. This was considered really wide. <laughs> the next board I have is this guy here. I don't remember the name of this graphic. Yeah, this is a, I think a 32? But yeah, I really love this graphic. In fact, I got the whole series and the rest I planned on hanging up and I haven't hung them up yet. But yeah, this is this is it. And the next Berlin wood we have is a Mothership graphic. You can tell I didn't really use it because I just loved the graphic. And I originally wanted to get the skateboard version of this so that I could hang skateboard up, but there isn't really a lot of space in my apartment to do that, so I just never did. So the next board we have is this don't panic board. I got this for an Instagram sale a really long time ago, but I never actually used this board. It's a 29 millimeter and the reason why I bought this board was because at the time I absolutely loved the band All Time Low and their album that was currently out was called Don't Panic and I don't think they were selling this board when I was fingerboarding during that time. This graphic came out way before I started fingerboarding. So I found this on Instagram and I was just like, I want to get that, so I got it. The next board, I don't actually remember if I bought this on Instagram or whether I bought this as like a deck in itself, but this is the Black River We Love graphic. I love the design of this board. I loved that it was a picture in the middle. I just thought it looked super slick. I still think it looks super slick. This is a 29 millimeter board, another one that I never used, just a board that I bought because it looked so pretty. The next one, I have this Berlinwood Bird graphic, I'm pretty sure it's called. I originally wanted to get all three and then hang them up, so if you don't know, this came in the blue, that which I have, and then also yellow and red, but I think this is a 32 millimeter board. Next Berlinwood is this split ply board that I bought off of, I don't remember his name, but I went through a period where we were trading and buying a lot from each other. So um, I really liked this. I thought it looked really sick. I bought it. I actually used it for a while, but I never got clips with it. Um, it's a 33 millimeter. I'm pretty sure this is my first ever 33. Um, and Berlin with this 33.3 too. So this is, this is a, 
pretty cool deck for me. The next board I have is a Berlin Wood Flat Face collab deck. So the graphic is a Flat Face Cube graphic with engraved Flat Face logos on top. And this board was really, really sick. It was like limited edition. I didn't include this into the rare pile because I actually think a lot of people have this deck. And the thing with all Berlin Woods is that they never come back like once a graphic is sold out. So technically they're all limited edition. Another thing I completely forgot to mention is all of these Berlin Woods are the classic shape. So none of them are like the low or anything like that. Okay, next brand of boards is Yellowwood, and Yellowwood was the third ever company that I heard of for fingerboarding, and I learned a few of my tricks on Yellowwoods because the shape was so high, like the kicks are really high. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I ended up selling a lot of my Yellowwoods, but I kept... The first one is this Ride Till Your Fingers Hurt graphic, which honestly in hindsight, like I don't know who came up with this graphic, but that's a very weird graphic to have. I think I got this as a birthday present from some of my friends. They bought me two boards and I ended up selling the other board because I just didn't need it anymore, but I thought this graphic was pretty fucking hilarious, so. That's why I kept it. The next yellow wood I have is this headphones graphic. I really liked this graphic. I remember this was a time when music meant like so much to me as a 18 year old. That's why I got this graphic. I kept it because I thought it looked really nice. This is a board that I found off of a fingerboard sale video on YouTube, I think. But yeah, I never really used this board. I just wanted to keep it as a graphic. Next, I have a Bruce Lee graphic board. I love Bruce Lee. He is an icon. And that's mainly the reason why I got this board. I wrote it for a while and then I retired it. But yeah, that's mainly the reason why I got it. There's no other story that comes with that aside from the fact that I like Bruce Lee and that's why I got it. The last yellow wood I have is this pool shaped board. I think this was one of the first ever pool shaped boards that Yellowwood was doing and I got one because at the time I had never tried like a cruiser shaped board ever in my life and Yellowwood was the only shape that I knew well enough to know that I could use the board. I don't remember when exactly I got this board but it was pretty far away from my Yellowwood phase of buying their boards. I kept it because it's actually still a pretty sick shape but yeah. Okay, so we're at our final round of boards and it's Unique decks. I own the most boards from Unique out of all of the companies that I'm going to mention in this figure collection series. Yeah, you guys know how much I love Unique. I've done so many unboxings from them. I think the first ever Unique board I got at the time, Unique was a pretty like rare company and Mallory's boards would sell out relatively quickly. I'm gonna do the two setups that I have right now and then I'm gonna try and go in chronological order of when I got the boards. So the first board is, I'm just gonna do the Save Our Mother graphic. It's a sick board. I think this, this graphic came out when Mallory, I know, tries to be as environmentally conscious as she can and I think that's pretty cool. And this is set up with dynamic trucks um, with the gold base plate. I don't actually know if I ended up doing an unboxing for these. And some backer bushings and also some cow ply edition flat face G5 or black river edition wheels. Um, you can't really tell they're the cow ply edition anymore because the color has completely faded and they just look like white wheels. And the tape on top is sponsor me tape with the strawberry engraving on top. All right, the next one is a Stella graphic. I've kind of ruined this one a bit and her eyes are completely gone. It's to the point where there's no point in me retiring the board. I'm just gonna try and thrash it as much as I can and then put it in the box. We love Stella, Stella's adorable. One of the best fingerboarding dogs in our planet. And then I have this set up with Y trucks, O rings, cartwheels, the V2 classic shape, and these are green on the inside, which matches the green O rings. And yeah, look at the stack. 
of unique boards. So I can't remember if I bought three unique boards or whether I bought them like two and then I bought another one, but I roughly remember this being the order that I bought them in. The first one is this like art series graphic. It's pretty plain white, but then there is a bit of like modern art in the middle. And this is my first ever unique board and I absolutely loved it, which is why I started buying more and more and more. And I decided this was my favorite company. Still is one of my favorite companies, but it's a pretty thin board in comparison to the newer boards. And then the next one is also A32.5, also an art series deck. And I remember thinking this graphic looks so pretty and so artsy, thicker than the other unique board I just showed you. This is more like the newer boards, except this is actually a lot thicker. This is the thickest unique board I've ever had. Also, this is the medium mold, so I think it's the nesting shape. Yeah, these both of these are nestings. And then I have this Jay-Z Beyonce Mona Lisa graphic board, and this is one of my favorite ever unique boards to ever exist. This graphic actually started peeling off, and I sent this board into Mallory to be repaired, which then resulted in me asking for a custom because I loved the shape. And she made me this custom board. I don't remember if it was for free or for a really cheap price, but so most of you I'm guessing won't know, but this is from a web series called Carmilla. And the art is by this girl called Valentine something. I don't remember, but her handle is here on Instagram and she does really nice hand-drawn pieces. This is slightly thinner, I think it's like a 31, but Mallory was super super nice and made me this custom when she wasn't really making them at the time. So then I went through a phase of not really buying unique boards for whatever reason, honestly I don't remember, but then Mallory put a sale post onto Instagram showing I think some really old unique boards and I bought this off of her for I don't know how much, but this is also a really sick graphic. It's hand-drawn. It's really simple, but I really like it. And I think this is a nesting mold. You can see the plies for this one are crazy. It's like an internal split, like two internal split plies. And I think this is just a board she made for herself too. So I remember this board feels entirely different to all the other unique boards that I have. This is really sick. I just realized I'm wearing a Unique Dex shirt. Didn't realize, I just picked out a white shirt. Next one is a Juvie mold, my first ever Juvie deck. And this was also the first stock of Juvie mold boards. It's my favorite shape now. But this is the How to Succeed in Fingerboarding and Then Die Alone. I bought it because the new shape was really cool, so yeah. Right, and then the next board we have is this Cowply and Unique collaboration deck. This is a board that I really, really loved. I loved the graphic, I loved how it felt. Every board feels different, so this board just felt particularly good for me. I wasn't really into using board rails at the time, so I didn't put a set of board rails on it or anything, which is why the graphic is so messed up. But then I put one singular board rail on it and I did like a little grip job at the back too, which is cool. And then I have these two boards here, which I bought at the same time. The first one is a, or was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles graphic board, which I so regret ruining because she has made it very clear she's not gonna sell another one of these again. So I'm so sad, but yeah, this was what it was. I did a setup video for this too, so go check that out. If you haven't already, it'll be in the card up here. And then also I have this nesting board. This graphic I thought looked really sick too. I put a single dislocation board rail on there. I never really wrote this board. I don't really remember why. I think it was because the shape felt really different from a Juvie and I wasn't used to writing a lower unique board at the time. So I didn't really write it too much, but it's decently messed up. So I'm happy about that and that at least it didn't go to waste. All right, last board of unique and also the last board of this video 
is this flower graphic. I put some Mono FB Reels on here, who you should check out by the way, they're my favorite border rail company. They do both screw-in border rails and also stick on border rails now. I did a setup video for this too, so I won't talk too much about it. I also did unboxings for most of these decks, so go check those unboxings out. Just go through my channel and look at them. And we have sponsor me tape on top with a pretty nice grip job. Oh, this is a 34, by the way. All right, so that's it for this video. There are going to be three more of these fingerboard collection videos coming to you. I really have to sign off as fast as I can because my light is literally about to die. It keeps dimming itself. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know the lighting isn't most ideal. I'm trying to test out how to film these sit down videos. I like this type of setup, so I'm gonna be lighting it a bit better. I'm waiting for a softbox to come in. Better quality videos coming to you soon. And yeah, go follow me on Instagram and subscribe if you haven't already. Go check out Unique, go check out Berlinwood, go check out Yellowwood. Look out for the next Fingerboard Collection video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week.